All right, day one of week seven of my half marathon training. I am on the other side of the the half, so so like I'm <laughs> I can't talk. I am on the second half of my marathon half marathon training. Uh, I should just start this over again, but I'm not. Gonna... Hello. Um, today was three miles. And when I get home, I will be doing an upper body and core workout. Um, I love being able to say, yeah, it was just a just an easy three mile run today because it's incredible and ridiculous that I can say that. That I can be the kind of person who says, oh yeah, I just ran three miles, just three miles, you know, because in February, when I started Couch to 5K, I could barely, barely manage 60 seconds of running at a time. And I just ran three miles and it was an easy three miles. A sweaty three miles, you can see, but, <laughs> but yeah. My time was 14 minutes, 25 seconds per mile. And felt good. Yeah, I'm not gonna do a workout video for the for the strength training that I'm going to do at home, I'm just going to um, use some dumbbells and just do some basic upper body and core exercises, five to ten minutes probably. And yeah, that's my day one of week seven. Okay, today was week seven, day two. The workout was run for five miles, um, and in that run include something called fartlicks, which is a funny word, but it basically is just unstructured speed play. Um, so for this run, I had five intervals of one minute each, and I could just throw them in whenever I wanted to in my run. Um, I put them all in the first like two miles and then the rest I was able to run easy. Um, my, my average time was about 15 minutes and 45 seconds per mile. So that's pretty good. Um, let's see. Oh, there were two things that I was gonna bring up and I don't remember what they were. Oh, one of them. I have to figure out how to stop underarm chafing. I'm gonna show you some fun stuff here. Okay, so, huh? <laughs> Right here, I get this bulge under my arm from where the, the sports bra um, hits, and then, you know, my fat just kind of like bulges out from under it. And then I get chafing right here, and you can probably see the redness. And, and it hurts, it stings. So I gotta figure out a way to keep that from happening. I'm probably gonna try um, taping it up. I have to get tape that's sensitive enough for for my um, skin there on my upper arms because that is sensitive skin, but also strong enough adhesive that it will that it will be able to stick even with all the sweat, which is so prevalent in that area. So, so that'll be something that I need to figure out. The other thing I wanted to bring up, um, I got new headphones. These are bone conduction headphones. You see, they don't, they don't plug my ears. And um, that is a good thing because it means that I can be more aware of my surroundings. I can still hear the music just fine, but I can also hear when there's a bike behind me that needs to, to pass, or if somebody says something to me or something. Um, basically I can hear what's going on around me in addition to the music that I'm listening to. So this is really cool. It took, took a little bit of getting used to because like when I first turned them on, I could like feel the vibrations in my cheekbone. I was like, whoa, that's weird. <laughs> but, um, anyway, so yeah, good new headphones. It it was a good run today. Um, there was enough 
time spent without running in the wind oh. that when there was wind, it was very welcome and very appreciated and very refreshing. Oh. What is it, buddy? Make you an egg? Okay. I'm going to make him an egg after this video. Um, anyway. Yeah, good run. Okay, so that was week seven, day two. Day three of week seven. Three miles. My average was just barely under 15 minutes per mile. So I made it in like 34 minutes and almost 60 seconds, but not quite. <laughs> but, um, oh, good run. Came out nice and early. There's a breeze. I took the route with lots of trees for shade. Ran into my neighbor out walking with her sister. That was fun. I didn't literally run into them. I ran past them. I'm nice like that. Anyway, it was a good run. I might need to start wearing a compression knee brace on my left knee. It's kind of starting to bug me a bit. Um, so maybe I'll brace that when I run from now on and see if that helps. Um, but yeah, good run. All right, this is day five of week seven. Yesterday, day four, I was supposed to do a full body strength workout, um, but I did not. It was the first time I've just entirely skipped what was on the schedule. I'm not pleased with that, but um, I'm not beating myself up over it either, because the, the day before that, um, I took my daughter for high school registration, and this is the first time any of our kids have been in public school for years. Um, so as, a, as an autistic introvert with social anxiety and having no idea what I was doing because I haven't had to do that in years and I haven't ever had to do that for high school, it was a very hard two and a half hours and so I feel like yesterday I was mentally recovering from that um, and I, I couldn't get myself to do the workout that I needed to. I kept planning to and then just not doing it and not doing it. I could have done it and you know I, I own that. I could have and I should have, but I didn't. So today is, uh, like I said, day five. I just finished a three mile run. I run it very easy, um, 16 and a half minutes per mile. Um, and I'm going to do, when I get home, a brief full, full body strength workout to kind of make up for yesterday but I'm not gonna push myself too hard because tomorrow is my long run and this week it's 10 miles. That's lots of miles. So yeah, that is where I'm at right now. Okay, week seven, day six, it's Saturday, it's long run day, and I will be running 10 miles, and I'm kind of freaking out about it, but trying not to. Um, <clears throat> I'm here at the park again for the same reason as last time, <clears throat> because I remember how very convenient it was to have access to the restrooms when I or during my long run last week. Um, right now I'm just kind of stalling. It's nice weather today. It's cloudy. It's only like 70 degrees. 
um, a little bit of a breeze. It's going to be raining later today, but should be clear during my run. Hmm. Okay, I need to stop stalling and start warming up and, and go run. Would someone remind me why I choose to do this to myself? <sighs> 10 miles done, two hours and 37 minutes, average pace of 15 minutes, 45 seconds per mile. <sighs> My feet hurt. My shoulders hurt. And I sat down and that was probably a mistake because that means at some point I'm gonna have to get up again. And I'm so tired. But guess what? I did it. I ran 10 miles. Oh. All right, this is week eight, day one. I just got back from a three mile run and then I'm going to do um, an upper body workout and a core workout. I forgot to mention after my Saturday run, I did put band-aids on the chafing spots under my arms and that helped a great deal. I don't remember if I mentioned that I put on a, a leg brace and that helped my knee. It's like a, a knee compression brace that helped that a lot. Um, I was not nearly as sore yesterday after my long run, so yesterday being Sunday, um, was not nearly as sore as I thought that I was going to be. And so surprise yeah. visit from Stanley. There's Stanley. Hi, Stanley. Stanley. Hi, buddy. Hi, yeah, Hi, you. And he wants to eat me because I look, I taste like salt. Mm -hmm. Anyway, um, let's see. So yeah, three miles. My average time was fifteen. 49 per mile. Took it really easy at first and then kind of gradually, very gradually got faster. Um, yeah, just a basic, basic run. This, this is a, um, a cut back week, cut back week. So I have fewer overall miles this week and my long run is shorter than last week. Um, not by much, but it's not pushing forward it's kind of stepping back a little bit so gotta take a little tiny bit of a break this week while still working very hard week eight day two um i actually got things a little bit messed up yesterday i was supposed to run four miles plus do the upper body and core workout today was supposed to be three miles plus hill reps so since I did three miles yesterday, I went ahead and did four miles today, and then I'm heading home to the treadmill to do hill reps. I have eight intervals of 20 seconds hard effort on 7% incline. So that should be hard, but, but good, still good. It was nice and breezy today, especially when I was running south. The wind was blowing in my face. It wasn't strong enough to make it hard to run, but it was strong enough to just feel really nice. But then when I had to turn around and come back up north, my face got really hot and sweaty because it didn't have the wind on it anymore. So that was irritating, but I've got the wind now. That's really nice. Anyway. Off to do my hill reps. So this is supposed to be day three of week eight. Um, I did not get up when my alarm went off. I stayed in bed for another couple of hours and that just totally derailed everything because then I'm just like looking for a time throughout the day. Oh, when can I do my 30 minutes of cross training and 
just kind of putting it off and putting it off and basically it's like 9 30 at night and I haven't done 30 minutes of cross training oh well <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and double up tomorrow I will do my 30 minutes of cross training plus the um, full body strength workout that is scheduled for tomorrow and then I will be caught up some days you know this kind of thing just happens you just don't get around to what you're trying to to do but I will be back on schedule tomorrow well I just got back from a bike ride my husband and I borrowed our son's bikes and hit the trail it's just a, a paved trail it's one that I run on a lot that was fun um, we went a little more than 30 minutes and we went about three and a half miles I can count on one hand the number of times I have been on a bike as an adult when I was when I was a young girl I could like ride my bike all the time I, well I was riding all the time yeah with my sisters and brothers and stuff um, but there were two um, incidents where I was almost hit by a car while riding a bike two separate times and that just kind of like made me not ever want to ride a bike again <laughs> but um, it was okay I was able to I was able to do it and feel okay I didn't almost get hit by a car which is always a plus um, it felt good I might actually go out and do it again at some point for, um, it, it was good cross training worked my legs really good a comfortable seat is very important when you're riding a bike <laughs> um, yeah I'm, uh, at some point today I'm gonna also do just a few basic strength training exercises and that will be day four what day is it? Thursday. Day five of week eight. Week eight, day five. I just finished a five mile run. Um, my average pace was 15 minutes and five seconds per mile. Uh, I achieved negative splits, which means that every mile was faster than the one before, so that's really cool. Uh, yeah, just a basic good run. Feels good. Day six of week eight. I will be running eight miles today. Um, it's a nice day. Relatively cool. I wish it were a little breezier. Maybe it will be when I get closer to the river. Um, Eight miles, yeah, that'll take me more than two hours, so that'll be fun. I will update later. Eight miles done. Oh, that feels awesome. Yes, my feet hurt. Yes, my shoulders are sore. Yes, my legs feel like rubber. Yes, I'm out of breath. But it still feels awesome. <sighs> Running is just awesome, I love it. <sighs> I padded and taped my chafy spots. I tried yesterday, but I didn't use enough tape and they came off within the first mile, but this time I rigged it up so that they stayed on the whole eight miles. No chafing, which is great, because I'm tired of getting chafing under my arms. Oh, I am so gonna make my husband give me a foot massage today. Anyway, my, um, my average pace was 16.25 per mile. I started out really slow, I think my first mile was like 
50 something. But just like yesterday, I got a little bit faster with each mile. Um, my last mile was 15 minutes and like 35 seconds per mile, or for, for that mile. So, yeah, I kind of like going just a little bit faster each mile. It feels good. Um, I did not, oh, sorry, it's so windy. I did not run at the park today. I just took the trail that goes past our house and then like extends both north and south of our house like for miles and miles and miles. Um, this is the furthest north I've taken it. It's kind of fun. Uh, let's see what else. Nothing really, just that's the end of week eight. I only have four weeks left until my um, till my half marathon. That's scary and exciting. And I'll see you next time.